so with enterprises there is a lot of technical debt because they have been around for a very long time at the dawn of time you had application teams that had local sysadmins spin up ci cd tools write some scripts to build and release their code that is where we begin the evolution from that point was consolidation of all these disparate tool sets and scripts into a central platform but once you consolidate on the underlying tooling then you see that there are multiple pipelines so uh, pipeline consolidation is the next phase from there we go to the next stage of the evolution which is in integration of the controls within the pipeline so you have now brought the disparate tools together you consolidate the platform you consolidate the pipeline you add some controls however at the same time there is things are evolving in the industry as a whole you see cloud native tooling so now we see a pivot to doing pretty much the same things but with cloud native tooling so devsecops for the public cloud requires a whole different level of maturity because we are essentially recreating the entire data center on a public cloud provider's platform so maturity level for infrastructure as code config as code policy as code everything as code is very important and that is where devsecops is extremely essential so it is essential to have clarity around strategic goals what workloads need to be migrated what are the pipelines that need to be in place to make those migrations happen what self service functionalities and capabilities need to be in place to make those migrations happen so typically when you are selecting a devsecops platform you want to ensure that it's cloud native so that it accommodates your scale requirements your availability disaster recovery requirements you want to en- ensure it has a rich api so that you can integrate it with other tools as you as needed we also need to ensure that uh, both the assets and the data are secure so the architecture of the platform itself is very important because especially if you are a regulated enterprise security is always top of uh, top of mind for us in terms of pipeline we want to ensure that uh, the pipelines can be written as code so that we can scale using self service additionally at the end of the day uh desecops pipelines orchestrate across various uh products so the integrations that are available out of the box from the platform are very key let's look at the controls right so what differentiates um regulated enterprises is that we need to integrate controls into our sdlc and demonstrate compliance to those controls and there are some very exciting uh events in this space with policy and code and compliance at scale that's currently happening so definitely um these additional aspects need to be kept in mind as we select a devsecops platform for a regulated enterprise we want to shift security left which means we want to give the developers feedback on the security issues that they need to address as early as possible we want to meet the developers in the tools that they use as opposed to closer to release or deployment where we are telling them hey we found these issues you need to go and fix it there is also a need to aggregate all these security defects um into a single system of record so that it is readily available when we have to make a decision around whether that release gets deployed into a production environment what are the major gap areas right now what we are seeing is that on a platform level we do want more cloud native ci cd devsecops solutions ideally you want to see a completely vendor hosted uh, solution so that enterprises are not distracted by op- uh, supporting compute um additionally there are some underutilized areas right now like i mentioned earlier policy as code uh and ai ml that need to be used more effectively to drive speed and compliance the other uh, pain point 
that we currently see is that we don't see an integrated suite of best in class tools that is offered out of the box what we see is integrated suites with okay tools right so we still have to go and purchase the best in breed tools in quality and security and wire them into the ci cd platform so having an integrated suite that brings together the best in class tools and hosted on cloud native platforms utilizing policy as code and ai ml to improve compliance and speed is our next stage in this evolution.